Okay, uh, you all welcome to workshop technology uh, subject. We are discussing about the screw thread cutting on lathe machine. One of the main operation done on the lathe machine. Okay, one of the main operation done on the lathe machine. The theoretically, the lathe machine can use to cut the any type of thread. Theoretically, there's a practical limitations depending on the capacity of the lathe machine. Then uh, last two class uh, we discuss about this uh, uh, screw thread cutting operation uh, especially the how to select the gear train to cut the given uh, certain pitch that means uh, with the older type uh, lathe machine there is a gear bank is coming starting from the 20 teeth to 120 teeth okay then uh, additionally uh, 127 gear is coming so then we, by arranging this uh, uh, by using this uh, gear uh, available gears we can uh, design we can create a gear train to cut different type of uh, pitch okay then uh, these things uh, we discuss in uh, last class and also in uh, last classes uh, especially we discuss uh, how to cut the uh, metric thread in English lathe machines and uh, vice versa in how to cut the uh, English uh, that means the inches thread on a metric uh, lathe machine this conversion used the 127 uh, teeth uh, J wheel uh, we discuss uh, with the example problems how to uh, how, how to do this conversion okay these things uh, we discuss uh, in detail that today uh, we are uh, focusing to how to chase a thread how to chase a thread mean uh, how to cut a thread using a lathe machine uh, then uh, especially in this lecture we are going to discuss how to locate how to align the cutting tool with the uh, thread with the uh, thread on a workpiece that means uh, we at uh, in a single cut we can't generate the thread it's a multiple uh, cut we need to get the uh, required depth for the screw so that uh, multiple uh, Cut we need to get the required depth so that uh, after doing the one one cut uh, it has to taken to a uh, front then tool have to feed again by giving the certain by advancing the certain uh, depth of cut so when you start in the second cut it has to align to the uh, previous starting point okay starting point that means uh, we have to ensure that uh, the second cut also should follow the previous cut okay okay the, that means we have to uh, our cutting tool in a second cut in the following cuts third cut fourth cut should follow the uh, cut we produce at initially well it's very important that means uh, it should follow the same cut otherwise it may cut different if we start in a different starting point, it may cut another uh, screw. That means the uh, entire screw may, the profile may spoil. So that uh, that is very important. Uh, there's a uh, two reliable method to do this one. So one is uh, use of uh, reversing mechanism. Okay, the modern lathe machines you could be. Uh, 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 modern lathe machine are equipped with uh, motor reversing mechanism but uh, in older type there is a uh, reversing mechanism is used to reverse the lathe machine but anyhow uh, both are uh, both are possible methods uh, using the reversing mechanism the one of the method I will explain then uh, second method is uh, using threading dial indicator okay these are the two methods you can use to uh, used to use for this operation these are the two methods we can use for this operation okay let's see let's move to the theory of this uh, lecture okay uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss uh, about the locating the This is the locating the tool in a thread. These are the topics we have discussed today. Then, uh, what it means? 
it means when uh, cutting a thread when cutting a thread this let's take this is the uh, work piece okay let's take this is the work piece this is the leaf uh, chuck then uh, let's take this is the thread profile we want to cut this is the thread having the uh, relative path in between the work piece and the uh, cutting tool is the helical path helical path so i will draw the cutting tool also I will do the cutting tool also. This is the cutting tool. Then uh, the cutting tool is connected uh, to the leaf screw through the half nut. This is called half nut. Okay. This is called the half nut. It is connected to the leaf screw through the. Then this is the leaf screw. Are you all uh, familiar with this uh, thing? Uh, in the last uh, two classes, we discuss about in detail about this uh, thread cutting operation. Are you all uh, know about this uh, these things? Yeah. Then this is the the screw. The leaf screw shaft and the spindle shaft. These two shaft is connected through the gear train. The gear train, okay. This is the spinal shaft gear wheel. This is the intermediate gear wheel, and this is the uh, leaf screw shaft gear wheel. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, what is the relationship in thread cutting operation? Per one revolution of the work piece, per one revolution of the work piece, the tool have to move uh, piece. Which of the screw being cutting? Okay, it should be travel which way. There is a relation. That relation should be done by connecting a cutting tool to the D uh, screw and by connecting the spindle shaft and the D uh, screw shaft through the gear tray. Okay, through the gear tray. This is the uh, that means this uh, this rotary motion and the uh, tool linear motion should be interconnected to produce this uh, relationship. Okay. Then uh, in thread cutting operation, at once we can't obtain the required depth for the cut, uh, thread. At once, uh, let's take the, this is the required depth. The we are starting from somewhere in here. At once we can't obtain the entire depth. And uh, in a first cut, maybe we are obtaining this kind of uh, small material we are removing. Then uh, in a second cut. In the second cut, we are removing another layer. In the third cut, finally we are obtaining the uh, maybe in the third cut we are obtaining the final depth for the screw. That means uh, we need uh, several cut, several cut to get the required depth for the screw. In this process, in the first cut, we are giving certain depth for the uh, we are giving certain depth. We are advancing the tool some uh, in this kind of uh, Manner. Then we are doing the first cut. First cut means uh, tool will come to after first cut. The tool will comes to this position, this position. Okay. Then what happen? The tool have to backward. Tool have to backward. Tool have to take uh, backward. Then it has to take to a the front position. Then it has to take to a front position. Then tool have to advance little bit. Then the first cut. Tool have to advance a little bit than the first cut for the second cut. Okay, to do the second cut. Then the major thing is in this process for the second cut, for the second cut, it should align to follow the same path previously we cut. Okay, that means in a for the second cut we have to align the cutting tool to follow the previously cut. Path on the previously cut path. What happen if not? If not, it will follow any other path. No, it will follow any other path. That means it will follow. If it is starting from somewhere near, it will follow this kind of path. 
so then what happened the entire thread may spoil no okay it, it will cut another thread not the previous thread so what happened the entire web piece the entire thread may spoil okay useless so that uh, very important that uh, that alignment that means that alignment should be uh, in a for the second cut in the following cut it should follow the same cut previously done that is very important in thread cutting operation in this lecture we are focusing how to do this uh, alignment okay how to do this alignment okay in this uh, process another important thing is if the uh, pitch of the leaf screw is a multiple of the pitch being cut uh, we can engage the nut anywhere uh, and uh, it will follow the original uh, path what it means i will do that uh, i will explain that one first uh, i will state that uh, statement if uh, if the pitch of the pitch of the leaf screw is a multiple of the multiple of the pitch being cut example if this is let's take this uh, pitch pitch of this uh, screw is uh, 6 mm let's assume if it is 6 mm for example uh, 1 2 3 uh, 6 1.5 like uh, pitch in millimeters for uh, 6 millimeter leaf screw 6 millimeter leaf screw these are the examples nut uh, half nut half nut can be engaged engaged anywhere anywhere and it will follow follow the original thread okay another uh, important sentence if the pitch of the leaf screw is a multiple of the pitch being cut if the pitch of the mul uh, pitch of the leaf screw pitch of the leaf screw is a multiple of the pitch being cut that means if this is uh, uh, let's take this is p if, uh, if we take the pitch of the leaf screw as the p dash if p dash is equal p dash is equal n into p n into p n should be a uh, integer a positive integer integer number okay here the n is a uh, positive integer number okay then if the pitch of the leaf screw is a, a multiple of the pitch being cut for example uh, for the six millimeter leaf screw for the six millimeter leaf screw for the six millimeter leaf screw the if the pitch being cut is a one two three and six and one point five like uh, pitch values we can engage this half nut this is called half nut anywhere in the leaf screw okay anywhere in the leaf screw that means if we take the uh, one point five millimeter pitch okay p dash is the six uh, uh, one point five in uh, we have in the n is equal 4 okay positive integer number in the multiple of the uh, pitch is the uh, pitch okay then uh, in this situation we can engage the half nut anywhere in the least screw what it means 
if you are cutting this kind of uh, pitch if you are cutting this kind of pitch after doing the after doing the press cut what we are doing we are disengaging the half nut in here we are disengaging the half nut in here okay just take this the half nut we are disengaging at this position we are disengaging after it is just to a in portion of the uh, screw being screw in portion we can uh, disengage the half nut through the lever then we are taken this half nut to a somewhere in this kind of position somewhere in this kind of position then we are engaging okay. whatever the position we can engage if you are cutting this kind of pitch value okay whatever the position we can engage if you are cutting this kind of position then it will follow same thread okay if you are cutting this kind of uh, multiple of uh, the pitch of the this screw is a multiple of the pitch being cut you can engage this half nut anywhere to the least screw anywhere to the least screw okay that means if you are doing the first cut then it, it will come to this kind of position then we are disengaging the cutting tool by uh, moving the carriage uh, hand wheel by we are taken the uh, after backward in the tool we are taken this uh, cutting tool to front position this kind of position then we are engaging this half nut to any position to the least screw then it will follow this same path okay there is the uh, one of the uh, there is the in the meaning of this sentence i will explain this uh, how it happened okay then i think you all have the doubt how it happened so understand this how it happened is uh, very important okay i will explain this uh, why how it happened okay 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 then uh, to engage the half nut to engage the half nut i will do the uh, half nut okay then uh, let's take uh, i will do the engage position okay let's take this is the half nut okay half nut i will do the two slots yes it is easy so then uh, this is the engage position the half nut is engaged to the least screw half nut is engaged to the least screw okay half nut is engaged to the least screw this is the engage position okay then uh, the cutting tool is uh, connected to the this uh, connection i will do in uh, but uh, the sandal is uh, connected to the half nut then uh, sandal is connected to the then the cutting tool is connected to the sandal but uh, this uh, connection i will uh, draw in this way the cutting tool is connected to the half nut that connection i will draw in this way cutting tool okay then uh, after disengagement after disengagement i will do the disengagement portion also after disengaging the uh, to to half nut is the disengage portion cutting tool This is the disengage position for the uh, screw uh, half nut from the least screw. So then, uh, then another engagement position comes after one complete revolution of the one complete revolution of the least screw. Okay. Next engagement point. Come after one complete revolution of the least screw. So whatever if he, uh, if uh, if uh, 
Leaf screw is produced half a revolution. I'll draw that diagram also. If a leaf screw is produced half a revolution, half a revolution, this is the leaf screw. Okay, see the leaf screw. Then uh, half nut in this kind of way. half nut in uh, this kind of way. half nut in uh, this kind of way. No. So can we engage the tool now? Can we engage the tool now? Can we engage the tool now? Okay. Can we engage the tool to the uh, half nut to a leaf screw? We can't. We can't. Okay. If uh, from this position the if if it rotate half a revolution, it will uh, comes to this this kind of a uh, position. In this situation, we can't engage. We can engage this half nut to a leaf screw. You can see. Only it uh, produces the engagement position after complete full revolution. Okay, after full complete revolution. Then after uh, complete revolution, it will come to this kind of position. Then easily it can engage to a this is screw. This uh, nut can easily engage to a, this is screw like this. In a half nut, this is the position. You can see. Every complete revolution, every co complete uh, full revolution, produce the engagement position. Okay, engagement position. Okay. That means. That means. When we are cutting a screw. Okay, let's take this diagram, previous diagram. When we are cutting a screw, like let's take. The example, the two millimeter pitch we are cutting, two millimeter pitch we are cutting with the six millimeter uh, leaf screw, six millimeter leaf screw. That means per one revolution, per one revolution, this one should produce a three revolutions, three complete revolutions. Okay, three complete revolutions. Okay. Three complete revolutions. That means each revolution, each revolution of this leaf screw produce complete revolutions of the workpiece. Complete revolutions of the workpiece. Okay. Each revolution of leaf screw produce again the complete number of revolutions of the workpiece. Okay. That's why we can't engage this uh, half nut. Anywhere on the cutting tool by taking this kind of position. I will explain that one uh, further. That means, okay, that means, let's take uh, this screw. Okay, and let's take this screw. Okay, then I uh, will do the half nut also. I will uh, simplified half half nut. I will do the simplified half nut. Okay, then uh, either engage uh, position. I will do the engage position. The simplified half nut I will draw. Okay. Then this is the cutting tool. Okay. Then if we after doing the first cut, we have to take this uh, half nut to a this kind of position. Okay, this kind of position to engage.
okay if we take uh, if, for example if we take uh, some and this kind of position we can't engage no we can't engage the half knot okay we can't engage the half knot we can't engage the half knot to the leaf we have to take to this kind of position that is equal to the n into which sorry i will use the capital n pitch of the this okay n into pitch of the uh, n into pitch of the this that means n is the complete uh, number of revolutions we need to rotate the tool to take this kind of position what we are doing we are we are not going to rotate the uh, least screw take to take the cutting tool to this kind of position what we are taken we are disengaging tool somewhere in here then we are taken by rotating the carriage hand wheel we are taken this cutting tool to somewhere in this kind of position to engage okay it also produces the complete number of revolutions complete number of revolutions same okay complete number of revolutions similar to if you are take tool to this kind of position to engage okay that mean if this is producing the complete number of revolutions if this is producing the complete number of revolutions this one also produce the complete number of revolutions okay then when engaging the after engaging the tool it will automatically come this starting point align with this any tool tip okay it will come after uh, if you engage somewhere in this kind of position after rotating this uh, work piece then uh, uh, leaf screw it will automatically comes to align with this uh, thread okay that is very important if the pitch of the leaf screw is a uh, multiple of the pitch being cut we can directly engage half knot anywhere on the leaf screw okay okay then uh, what happen if uh, for example if you are doing the 0.7 if you are cutting the 0.7 uh, mm pitch for example if you are cutting the 0.7 mm i'll explain that turn also you are cutting the 0.7 mm pitch okay 0.7 mm pitch in this situation we can't engage this uh, cutting tool to uh, anywhere on this uh, engagement portion so that mean uh, pitch to be cut is the 0.7 pitch of the leaf screw is 6 so then uh, 7 into 60 you can see you can see you can see uh that mean what it means when you are cutting the 0.7 mm pitch after uh that mean uh, in a seven revolutions in a seven revolution of the leaf screw this one should produce that mean uh, uh work piece should be produce 60 revolutions okay work piece should be 60 revolutions okay work piece should be produce 60 revolutions when leaf screw produce in the seven revolutions then what happen for the one revolution of the leaf screw for the one revolution of the leaf screw 60 divided by 7 this produce the 60 divided by 7 revolutions here you can see one complete revolution of the leaf screw this one should produce 60 divided by 7 revolutions okay there is a decimal number no decimal number not, not a uh, complete revolution uh, all number there is not a all number okay this is the decimal number that is the there is the thing uh, the when for example when cutting the this kind of pitch 0.7 mm pitch something like this is not a multiple of the uh, uh, multiple of the pitch of the leaf screw in this situation we can't engage the half knot whatever any engagement position okay whatever the position we can the any engagement position we can't engage the Uh, half knot to cut the 0.7 mm pitch but if it is uh, uh, pitch is a multiple of the uh, 
uh, pitch of the leaf screw we can engage the half nut any engagement position to the uh, leaf screw okay okay then uh, now this one is uh, i think all clear with this one then uh, what happen if you are doing this kind of uh, when you are cutting this kind of uh, thread what are the methods to how to align this uh, cutting tool to the previously cut thread okay if you are doing the second cut how to align the cutting tool to a first cut okay that is the thing then uh, there are two methods to do this one the one is the reverse in reverse in the machine one is the reverse in the machine i will uh, first uh, two method uh, two method can use for this one the first method reverse in the machine sorry reverse in the machine the second method use of uh, threading dial use of threading dial indicator okay the these are the uh, two uh, reliable method to do this one the reverse in the mechanism reverse in the machine then the use of uh, threading dial in uh, dial then there's another method uh, by marking the uh, bit so that is a uh, but uh, these two methods are more reliable than that one so i'll explain these two okay you should uh, know these two first one uh, we are going to discuss uh, reverse in the mechanism reverse in the sorry uh, machine reverse in the machine okay reverse in the machine then let's take this the work piece this uh, work piece is connected to the spindle spindle shaft then the cutting tool the cutting tool is connected to the sandal sandal is connected to the uh, half nut then the half nut is connected to the leaf screw Okay, then this is the leaf screw shaft. Then these two shaft is uh, connected to the gear train. Okay, if this is uh, rotating in this direction, this is the intermediate gear. This one rotating in this direction. This one rotating in this direction. This one rotating in this direction. Okay, then this is the leaf screw shaft gear okay leaf screw shaft gear then this is uh, this is the connection the reverse in mechanism reverse in mechanism mean after uh, setting the gear train then the uh, after engaging the half nut that may uh, that is not uh, disengage until the thread being cut okay until the thread is uh, uh, un until finishing the thread is uh, thread until finishing the thread cutting process the half nut not 
disengage until finish the thread okay until finish the thread that means uh, this uh, half nut remain engaged during entire entire thread cutting process okay this half nut do not disengage any intermediate position okay that mean uh, it remain engaged entire thread cutting process so what happen in this process after doing the first cut then it will comes to this kind of position okay it will comes to this kind of position it remain engaged that remain engaged that will remain engaged that is not going to disengage okay that is not going to disengage okay then uh, here uh, it uh, remain engaged when it comes to the inposition of the screw let's take this is the screw we want to generate this is screw we want to generate this is the inposition this is the start inposition then when it reaches to the inposition what we are doing we are backward in the cutting tool we are backward in the cutting tool then we are uh, reversing the mechanism Rever uh, reversing the machine so that means we are we are we are rotating this uh, this one in this direction this one in this direction then this one in this direction then what happen it will goes to this kind of position then uh, it will uh, follow uh, following this path following this red loop path it will goes to this kind of position then after it uh, reaches to this kind of position again we can forward the machine for the second second cut then we are uh, before forward in the machine we are advancing the tool for the second cut then we are uh, rotating again in a clockwise direction <coughs> then it will follow the same thread profile because we, are, we have not disengaged the half knot in this process okay so it follow the same path so it follow the same path for this uh, reversing uh, to reverse the uh, machine there's a uh, the one of the method is uh, we can uh, directly motor can reverse the modern uh, lathe machines equipped with the motor reversing that means the electrical electric motor is used uh, the induction motor is used in most of the modern lathe machines uh, so that uh, by uh, changing the two uh, two terminals of the induction motor we can reverse the induction motor easily okay the toggle Uh, switch is there to reverse the uh, motor by uh, reversing the motor we can uh, take cutting tool to a front uh, using uh, reversing mechanism uh, machine okay the the early days this uh, lathe machines are powered by the uh, engine in that situation the uh, reversing mechanism is used to reverse the uh, lathe machine okay the both the uh, both the uh, method can use to for the reversing the machine the by reversing the electric motor or by using the reversing mechanism the both method we can use to reverse the uh, lathe machine okay then uh, this is the this is how uh, first method is work the reverse in the machine then the second method use of uh, threading dial uh, method okay threading dial method i will draw the threading dial first i will draw the i uh, show the threading dial for you and this is the uh, threading dial the picture of the threading dial the picture of the threading dial you may uh, some of you may have seen this uh, threading dial when you do in the practical you can see then uh, this is the dial plate then this is the, the which is connected to the sandal then the fixed mark the zero mark then uh, this is the shaft this uh, dial is connected 
to the shaft then this shaft is connected to the worm wheel worm wheel then this is the uh, leaf screw this is the leaf screw then uh, what happened each revolution of the uh, leaf screw it will uh, this will rotate one teeth okay this will rotate one teeth if the threading dial having the 10 teeth to produce the complete revolution for the dial the leaf screw should produce the 10 revolutions 10 revolutions i will explain this one also okay then uh, the threading dial indicator something like this so i'll draw the uh, leaf screw this screw is uh, something like this instead okay then uh, threading dial indicator uh, worm wheel the worm wheel which is connected to the threading dial something like this okay let's take this kind of uh, threading dial yeah then uh, let's take <coughs> let's take this is the worm, uh, worm wheel uh, worm wheel uh, connecting to the leaf screw this called leaf screw okay, according to this di diagram how many uh, teeth in the worm wheel one two three four 5, 6 teeth, okay, 6 teeth, okay, let's take, uh, to illustrate this uh, process, I will take on this uh, 6 teeth uh, worm, wheel, worm wheel, then what happened, one uh, complete revolution, one complete revolution, how many revolutions produce the worm wheel, what do you think, okay, so one complete revolution, this teeth, comes to this kind of position then after this will engage to this slot okay that means one complete revolution of the leaf screw this one produce one over six revolutions one over six revolutions for one complete revolution for one complete revolution the leaf screw should rotate six revolutions okay six revolutions actually this uh, threading dial is a counter is a counter it's counting the uh, number of revolutions of the leaf screw okay number of revolutions of the leaf screw okay number of revolutions of the leaf screw threading uh, dial is the uh, actually is a counter it count the number of revolutions of the Leaf screw. So then, why count the number of revolutions of the uh, leaf screw? For example, I will explain uh, this one using the. Let me uh, before going to this explain this one. This uh, worm wheel come uh, normally comes with uh, uh, six millimeter leaf screw. Six millimeter leaf screw. The the worm wheel comes with uh, the fourteen teeth. This are common uh, worm wheel type. The eighteen teeth. Uh, 22 teeth, uh, 16 teeth, 20 teeth, like uh, home wheels are coming with the 6 millimeter leaf screw. Okay, then the whatever the uh, any situation we can change the home wheel. This set of uh, home wheels are coming with the lathe machine. According to our requirement, we can change the required home wheel. We can fix the home wheel what uh, we want. Okay. Then these are interchangeable worm wheels. The dial plate is same. 
it will uh, show the different uh, dial indicators uh, normally it is uh, divided into four so like this uh, one two three and the four the one of the division methods then uh, there's a fixed uh, indicator on the sandal okay top of the uh, dial plate okay then uh, why uh, actually this uh, threading dial is a counter of a counter it count number of revolutions of the least screw why that is important in thread cutting operation i will explain it using the uh, example okay i will explain it using the example okay let's take uh, we want to cut the The step we want to cut this to be cut. This to be cut is the 0.7 millimeter. This to be cut is the 0.7 millimeter. I will do that diagram also. Then this is the workpiece. Then uh, this is the re screw. Okay. This screw, then the half nut, then this is the cutting tool. Okay, then uh, <coughs> this uh, pitch to be cut is the point seven millimeter. Okay, what it means? According to our equation, we derive pitch to be cut. Pitch to be cut is equal. Pitch to be cut is equal. Uh, Lee screw turns. The last class we obtain, we discuss uh, these things in detail. The least screw turns divided by spindle turns is equal driver's teeth divided by driver's teeth divided by driven teeth. Okay, driver's teeth divided by the driven teeth. Okay, then you can see this to be cut is the point seven. Pitch to be cut divided by the sorry, pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the leaf screw. Pitch of the leaf screw. Okay, pitch of the leaf screw is equal six millimeter. You can see uh, leaf screw turns. Spindle turns. Turns. Then you can see this is a decimal number. I will uh, put uh, 7 into 60. 7 into 60. 7 divided by 60. Then you can see lead the screw turn. Spindle turns. Then you can see. Uh, After seven complete leaf screw turns, this one produces sixty complete revolutions. Okay. After complete seven revolutions of the leaf screw, spin will produce sixty complete revolutions. You can see after seven complete number of revolutions, after complete seven number of revolutions. We have an engagement portion. Okay, engagement portion. That means after producing the seven complete revolutions, this one also produce this spindle also produce sixty revolutions. Okay, that means 
uh, I'll draw that uh, this uh, the pitch starting position. Let's take this. This is the pitch starting position. Okay. Then uh, I'll do the. Uh, I'll do that part in the. I will explain in the, in this manner. Okay. Okay. Let's take uh, the work piece. Okay, this is the work piece. Okay. Then let's take this is the start time, starting portion of the thread. This is the starting portion of the thread. Okay. At that position, let's take uh, this is the leaf screw. This is the half nut engagement position. This is the starting portion. Here we can see. After complete seven revolutions, after completing the seven revolutions, there is another position comes. These two points are aligned in the same manner. Okay, that's why this is this ratio is mean. Okay, after this one, this one produces the sixty revolutions. After seven revolutions, the least group. This one produces 60 complete revolutions. Then you can see these two points are aligned same manner. Okay, this is the engagement position. If we engage in this position, it will follow the previous thread. It will follow the previous thread. Okay, you all clear with this one? Yeah. That means if anyhow we can count the least group rotation. In a seven step intervals, we have an engagement position. Okay. In after each uh, seven, fourteen, uh, twenty one, twenty like uh, revolutions, we can engage the half nut. We can engage the half nut. Okay. That means so that to count this uh, least screw rotations. We are using threading dial indicator. We are using threading dial in indicator. For example, in this process, uh, process, we are using uh, fourteen teeth. Okay, fourteen teeth threading dial indicator. Okay, fourteen teeth threading dial indicator. If you use the fourteen teeth threading dial indicator, what happen? When you are cutting the point seven millimeter pitch, it will produce. I will draw the dial. Plate uh, only in here. Okay. This having the fourteen teeth in a worm wheel, which is connected to the dial. This uh, dial plate having the fourteen teeth uh, worm wheel. Then this take this is one, two, and three, and the position. Then this is the uh, fixed position on the sandal zero. Okay. If we start from the position one, if we start this thread cutting uh, uh, process engaging the half nut at the position one, we have uh, another engagement position in three. Position three, okay. Position three, we can disengage the cutting, uh, half nut. Then, if we take somewhere in this kind of position, then we can engage again this half nut. From step one or step three, these two positions, not from two or four. If we start from the two, we can engage this half nut again at this uh, step two or step four. Okay, two or four. If we start from the one, we can next time we can engage one or three. That means. Uh, this uh, half a revolution of the threading dial. It means the seven revolutions of the this. That means it uh, half a revolution. It having the uh, seven teeth. Okay, half a revolution it having the seven teeth. That means it represents the seven revolution of the this. Okay. Then I uh, will I uh, will give the table which is uh, using the six millimeter. Uh, this screw, six millimeter pitch. This screw, light machines. Okay. Six 
मिलीमीटर पीछ For the six millimeter piece, these screw interchangeable worm wheels. I will explain the piece to be cut. Piece to be cut. Uh, worm wheel on the dial is spindle. Teeth on the dial spindle. Then uh, the half nut can be engaged. Engaged. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, for example, if you are cutting the 0.7 millimeter, 0.7, then uh, 1.75, uh, 3.5, uh, 7, 14 like uh, pitch values, 7, 14 like pitch values, we can use the 14 teeth worm wheel, 14 teeth worm wheel, where we can engage where we can engage this half nut I will do the uh, dial indicator like something like this it is divided to uh, four divisions one two three and the four okay one two three and the four where we can engage one and three four two and four if we engage the uh, position 1 then we can engage again in position 1 or 3 if we engage in a position 2 next time we can engage only in position 2 or 4 okay then if you are cutting the the 4.5 millimeter pitch 9 millimeter pitch again we have we can use the 18 teeth uh, pitch again same if you are cutting the 5.5 or 11 like uh, pitch values we can have to use the 22 t okay then again uh, 0 0.25 millimeter pitch uh, 0.5 millimeter pitch 0 0.75 millimeter pitch 0 0.8 1 1.5 2 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 like uh, values that we can use the 16 teeth GAV uh, uh, worm wheel so whatever the position we can engage 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 ok 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 ok then if you are getting the 1.25 uh, 2.5 uh, 5 and the 10 like pitch values, we can use the 20 teeth JV, then we can again engage whatever the whatever in this any portion. Okay. This is the uh, summary of the use of interchangeable worm wheel with the 6 millimeter pitch leaf screw. Okay, 6 millimeter pitch leaf screw. I think you all clear with this uh, use uh, the two method. We can use to uh, follow the thread in thread cutting operations. Okay. Okay. Uh, the you should have a the 
the I will uh, explain this uh, 0.7 then I will explain another one uh, let's take the 5.5 millimeter piece then uh, you will more clear with this one then you can finish uh, that one the piece to be cut piece to be cut divided by the piece of the leaf screw is equal is equal leaf screw turns divided by this filters Filter. Okay. Then uh, fish to be cut. Let's take. Is, uh, we want to cut the five point five millimeter piece. Five point five millimeter piece. The pitch of the leaf screw is six. The pitch of the leaf screw is six. Then uh, you can see the five point five. The how to uh, convert to a uh, yeah. The five point five. So we can do uh, multiply by the two then uh, we have to do the two that is equal 11 into 12 what it means what it means when producing the least screw 11 complete revolutions the spin work is produce the 12 complete revolutions that means after 11 complete revolutions we have again engagement position so that means if you can count the 11 revolutions which is connected to the uh, by connecting the dial the din dial we can engage half nut at the 11 position so then we have to use the 22 teeth if you use the 20 teeth to two, two, two te teeth uh, worm wheel we have a two engagement position one two three and the four if you engage somewhere in here next time we can engage one or three that means it will produce 11 teeth for half a revolution therefore complete full revolution 22 teeth that's why here so for the 5.5 we have 22 teeth uh, one wheel we have to use the engagement portions are 103 or 204 okay Again, I will explain this one also. Piece to be cut is the 5. Piece to be cut is the 5. Then this one is 6. Then uh, you can see in a, a 5 complete revolutions to least screw, this will produce the 6 complete revolutions. So that means if you count, if you can count the 5 revolutions uh, in a 5 revolutions steps it will produce the engagement portion if you are using the 20 teeth 20 teeth that mean uh, in a quarter revolutions of this uh, dial indicator 1 2 3 and the 4 quarter revolutions it having the 5 teeth quarter revolution it having the 5 teeth because it's complete having the 20 teeth so that mean uh, engagement position produce 1 2 3 or oh, 5 so any position any engagement position we can engage the half nut okay if you engage somewhere in here it will cut different thread okay then this uh, table i think you all uh, more clear with this uh, table so then uh, this is very important in thread cutting operations okay okay uh, Thank you. Let's continue next day class.